first morning at Nathan and Carolina's beach pad, and it appears Sisu is already the boss. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Please. Who's that? That's Chris. Come in. Happy Come guy. Good night. Good night. Yeah. We, we slept right through, so. No problems? No, she was actually in her basket the whole night. I'm sorry. Really? But... They're trying to convince me that Sisu is a perfect angel, but I find that a bit hard to believe. <laughs> you are seeing the transformation into a monster before your very eyes. <laughs> and I had nothing to do with it. Sure, she produced the worst behaviour around me, but it's not my fault. <laughs> a camera set up in Sisu's bedroom overnight will reveal the whole truth. Yeah. Do this whole puppy thing, it's easy, right? Yeah. Go have a look. Yep. I don't think she has moved from her bed at all. While you're yeah. sleeping, she's up um, having party. maybe breakfast. <laughs> Where's she going? Did you guys have any idea? Nah. Whoa. Well, what's going on here? And the howling. I can't believe you guys slept through that. So, inadvertently, Nathan and Caro have performed textbook control crying. They've essentially passed out while Sisu's howled the night away. <laughs> And the full oh, howl. No. Then she disappears. I'm interested to know what she's doing behind that bed, eating something. There could be another explanation. <laughs> Just come with me. I think I know where she's gone. <laughs> no. Is it there? Oh. oh no. She found a new toilet. OK. So, smart dog doesn't do it in full view of the camera. <laughs> the angel, she ain't. Sisu is used to the smell of dirt and of grass, and that is yeah. what she associates with her toilet. She can't have that in here, yeah. so they've got to bring it to her. Over time, what you do is decrease the amount of dirt and grass that you need, and within a week, you shouldn't need any at all. Yeah. She'll start to see the toilet box as being her signpost rather than the dirt and grass. Well, it's her new bed. Where's all the kids? Where's all the kids? Honey! Honey! Honey's now 10 weeks old and a big hit at Laura and Kate's school. The school's been fantastic, letting her come in and out every morning and afternoon, so it's really lovely. Her ears are so warm and her tail's so happy. Socialisation, you're doing a great job. I mean, to get her out like this, she's going to be so comfortable around kids for the rest of her life, and that, that's great. Socialisation, essentially, it's worldliness. It's allowing your puppy to encounter all sorts of people, all sorts of animals, situations, noises, and make sure they're really comfortable with them. The only key here is socialising a puppy before 13 weeks. If you don't do it before then, they just won't react the same way. All good with children, but Honey is still bemused and a little intimidated by those feline family members. There's been hissing, there's been scratching and barking. Um, Honey's found her voice and has started to bark at Simba and Simba does not appreciate that at all. It is the age-old duel between a dog and a cat, but how do you make it work? Well, you have to start them at this age. If you don't, then when Honey reaches 30, 35 kilos, the cat just ain't going to want to be around her. Feed them separately so they're not pinching each other's food because that tends to raise the tension. And make sure they have their own space. If a cat can sit up on a ledge, up on a bookshelf, somewhere where it can look down on the world on the dog, it's going to feel more comfortable with that dog being around. So you have to go through these little squabbles, these wrestling matches, because that's what breeds familiarity and what breeds comfort. And given some time, they'll get used to being around each other. Not the, not the rug. Maxie. Chris has arrived at Elizabeth's apartment to do a safety check on the plants in her courtyard. This one is called Lirio. When he's going to be teething, he'll chew those. Yeah. And if he does, they could actually poison him. So they're poisonous, just even the small These berries. berries. They also drop on the ground too. Yeah. One berry will cause a gut irritation. Yeah. But if he was to eat a whole stalk of those berries, yeah. it could become really serious really quickly. I had absolutely no idea that I had plants that could potentially kill my puppy dog. 
That's a philodendron. Now it contains oxalates, which is a poison. Probably the best thing. <laughs> you get rid of it. Uh, because freshly planted. There are over 80 plants that are potentially poisonous for pets. From my experience, Brunsfeldia would be the number one culprit. It was a complete shock to see Chris rip plants from my garden. It's hurting you, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but I'm glad that I know. That's that's the most important thing. Oh my god, my garden. My garden, my garden. Max? Max? No, he's out. Honey's off to puppy school, and Rachel, Laura and Kate want her to make a good first impression. No, honey. No, honey. At German Shepherd obedience classes, the big dogs show the babies the ropes, and then it's down to discipline. Are you ready? And forward! Heel, honey. Heel. Hand on here, like this. Drop. Drop. You must praise. Only ever pat your dog when all four feet are on the ground. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Sit. I think she only ever does reasonably well here. I think she's great at home. She knows what she needs to do at home, but here there's a lot of distraction, so I find it hard. <laughs> See if you can actually open their mouths. Just try to open their mouths. That's what the vet would do. Very good. Elizabeth and Max have also started puppy school. They're at beginner's level. One of the things I'd love Max to learn is how to play with other puppies. He spends a lot of time with me, and so when I get down to the park, he's so excited. So it'd be good just to teach him how to play with other puppies, slightly more controlled. <laughs> Uh-oh. What do I think about puppy school? Well, you've got to think that a puppy without manners is almost certain to grow into a huge sized hellraiser. So enrolment in a puppy school from around about 12 weeks of age is a must to teach them the very basics of obedience and pet etiquette. And from there you can decide whether your puppy is a ducks, a dunce, or like you, the class clown. I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.